and today we're going to be taking a very cool look at um, my first figure review, which is the Revel Tech Gurren Lagan full drillized version. Um, this is my very first Revel Tech, and it is fun. <laughs> it's it's I don't want to say amazing, but fun, definitely very fun. Um, it's definitely one of the coolest figures that I've ever gotten. I got it from my brother. Um, he just picked it up for me, like, unknowingly, without even knowing that I liked Gurren Lagann. But, um, yeah, it was just really cool. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, he said he got it for about 20 bucks on a Chinese eBay website. That's what I heard. And that is a pretty darn good price, because it's Gurren Lagann and it's a Revoltek. And Revoltek's are super expensive. So, um, enough about the rambling. Uh, let's just start off with the colors. So first off, you got this nice kind of like mustard yellow. Um, there's the Team Dagger and logo. Uh, then we got some nice gray. It's it's kind of like a like a charcoal gray. Kind of it looks good. Looks good. Um, paint apps on this guy are pretty well done. Um, then you got this nice red. Um, it's not really paint. It's how the mold is. So not not much of the red is painted. I believe. I don't think any of the red is painted. Um, then you got the turquoise for the eyes, for uh, Gurren's eyes. Then you got this nice silver. It's like a muted silver for the all the drills all around his body. Um, but uh, the only thing I have to complain about is this little paint speck right here, which was kind of, eh, uh, I don't know. Like I just, I just, it's a figure, so that, you know you kind of hope that the paint apps would be better uh, because you're, you are paying more for a figure as opposed to a model kit. And then um, right over here in the back, you got this nice little gunmetal gray color that isn't doesn't really show up anywhere else on the um, figure itself, which is really cool. But um, yeah, so definitely really cool. Uh, next up, oh yeah, you got the, the yellow for the eyes, which is a different color. Let me see if I can focus on his face. There we go. Yeah, it's a different yellow than the actual, than the mustard yellow that's kind of going around throughout his body. So there he is. There is Gurren Lagann, the full drillized version. Now, uh, one quick thing. Um, the full drillized version is extremely sharp. Like, all the drills are tipped to a point. Like, it's if you threw this at someone's face, it would probably hurt them. Um, now, as for articulation, I do, I'm kind of scared to mess around with the Voltec joints because of how they're made. It's a ball and a really thin peg. It's a long peg, but it's a thin peg, so it's like, I'm always scared about messing with the Voltec joints. And then, um, it didn't come with any extra Voltec joints, which is, which is a shame, but, uh, yeah, it's alright, you can go on eBay and buy some. Um, but I will go over this really quickly. So the head is on a Voltec joint up here, and... A, t a two Revoltek joints, you can hear a little clicking motion, and it provides awesome amount of articulation. So it rotates 360 and goes in and out, up and down. Anything that you quite possibly want out of the head. Um, shoulders here are the only non Revoltek joints. These are actually on swivels, or no, these shields, sorry. The, these are actually just on swivels, and then the shoulders are on these big Revoltek joints, and Revoltek joints make these really nice clicking noises, which are just amazing to hear, but at the same time kind of scary. Um, but you definitely have a lot of angled movement right there. Uh, it's a new kind of, it's a different look at just standard articulation, rather than just like, boom, ball joint, ball joint right there. It's Instead of, it's, uh, if you put if you set a joint at an angle, it definitely allows for more dyna dynamic posing. Um, next up, you got a Revoltek joint in the arm, which just bends 90, good 90. Uh, the hand's got a mini Revoltek joint as well, so then it can rotate 360 and bend. Uh, the torso, it doesn't have much movement, although there is a joint in there. Um, it doesn't click at all, that means it doesn't really move, but it's got that rotation, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the, this little crotch plate is on a little mini Revoltek joint, but it doesn't really do much, which is kind of weird. Um, next up, we got two mini Revoltek joints right here, in the side skirts, which are amazing, and they're fun to mess with. The legs have Revoltek joints as well, and the way they're set up is the peg is actually not going up, but it's going to the side, so you have that rotation from that peg right there, which also allows for more fun movement. But at first, uh, I was really scared to mess with it because I thought the peg went up, so I thought you'd have to rotate the joint first and then move it up, but uh, that is not the case here. Next up, uh, you got the legs, nice 180 in the bend, uh, right here on the, on the knees, sorry. Uh, he has this nice little mini Revoltek joint on the back of his leg, which doesn't really do much, but it's nice that they included it. It's like this little hatch and it just collapses in a little bit when you bend the knee. And then um, the foot right here has all sorts of fun movement because it's got this nice angle and it can 
been pretty far down. So there is Revoltek Gurn Lagan's articulation. So, next up, let's go over accessories. So, this guy comes with a whopping total awesome accessories, starting off with the core drill. Whoa. The core drill is a really cool piece of its own. Oh, shoot, sorry, stopped it. It's just nice, really just, it's not heavy, but it's like, it's it's really cool. And um, it's definitely a nice accessory that they added in just this top part. part. Um, originally, it's a drill that you can just put onto Gurren Lagann's hand, but if you want, you can just pop this in, put a string around it, and there you go. You're Simo and the Digger. Um, but here, let me just pop that off and try to show you what happens when you try to put the core drill on. And there goes Gurren's face mask. So pushing this in, you want to take out the joint. Don't don't try to don't try to put the core drill on while it's all the joint's still in the hand because you can end up stabbing yourself, which I did stab myself and it healed up. So mm, you can't really see it that well, but I stab I stab myself. Let's just put it like that. And there you go. There's Gurren Lagan with his drill arm. Um, still waiting for that Giga drill. But what you can go ahead and do if you don't have or the, they probably aren't going to make a Giga Drill, but if you want, there is a Papercraft version online. If you search it up, you will be able to find a Papercraft version of the Giga Drill made for specifically for the Revoltech Gurren Lagan. Uh, just throwing that out there, you know? Okay, all right. Um, now that we've got the join out, might as well go over the hands. So you got the pointing hand, which is the, you know, my drill is the drill that will pierce the heavens, sorry, it flew into this little bin right here. And then uh, next up you have the open hand, which there is only one, and it's very cool. Um, his hand reminds me a lot of Iron Man's hand, just like a repulsor looking hand. Uh, next up we have the holding hands, let me just get both of them out. You have two holding hands for both arms, and they can hold the sunglasses. Um, next up you also have closed fists so you can punch people in the face um, and that is all I believe uh, that is all for hands and let me just go ahead and pop in the holding hand so you can go ahead and check out him holding his sunglasses now um, the sunglasses itself let me show you how to take those off there's a small peg on the inside of well not this one but that's really fragile by the way um, on the inside of Gurren's face, so you just want to pull that faceplate off, and this is cool because then you can see Gurren's eyes. And what's interesting is it's on a peg, and that means that you can shift it, so it looks like because in the anime, one of Gurren's, when you have this kind of look going on, it looks like Gurren's alive rather than just like that. But you can definitely get this cool look in his face, like bam. But yeah, there that is. Uh, now let's check out this piece really quick. This is the sunglasses piece. This is the small one. And it's uh, just a tiny little peg. Pegs right into here. Um, this piece of its own, the sunglasses, is really fragile. I definitely recommend keeping these two pieces together or definitely, um, I don't know, glue them. But um, yeah, just really fragile. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, also, oh, wait, no. let me just get on with the sunglasses. So sunglasses, giant glaive thing. Um, it's called the demolition glaive. Uh, you want to just go ahead and pop that into the holding hand because that's the only thing the holding hand is made for. And you've got the demolition grave! And then, um, yeah, so there's there's that. Next up, you have his head. Another alternate head, which is just him with no expression at all. But yeah, um, it's easy because it just pops right off. And you can pop this one in. But I prefer the one with the growling face because that is cool. And there you go. Finally, you have a stand. It's not unlike Revoltech to not include a stand, because stands are usually what Revoltech have in every single Revoltech figure. Um, uh, the stand itself is on one big black Revoltech joint, and you can just peg that into a hole underneath his bottom. And then um, there are pegs on the stand. There's two pegs. There's one at the right here, and there's one further up on the V. Um, in the V. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, you just peg that in, and there you go. You have Revoltech Gurren Lagann pulling off an aerial pose. So, my camera doesn't want to focus on it, but uh, it's pretty cool looking. But yeah, um, so there is Revoltech Gurren Lagann. Um, what else? Well, that's pretty much it for this review. I mean, like, it's a really cool figure. Uh, if you can get it for under 30 bucks, I would definitely recommend getting it, because it's a really fun figure. And, um... Yeah, what else? I mean, like, 
it's just really cool. I mean, uh, as a revolt tech, it's revolt techs are just naturally cool. I mean, like all the revolt techs I've seen are just awesome, especially the get a robo ones. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this guy up if not for this drill and the top, which I believe comes with a regular gurn log on, so whatever. But um, still pretty cool. Definitely recommend picking this guy up. If I haven't said that three times already, uh, I'll see you guys in the next review.